I got the page prepared. Um, to -do 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 make people stay right here. So let's dive into here. And um, what I want to create is an exit intent pop-up, which will appear here. It will slide from the top when the person tries to leave the page. Um, we're running out of time, guys, so I will try to speed things up. Let's head over to model windows. And um, I will just use the, uh, the model window, which I prepared. So it's right, right, right here. We have this handy preview buttons available now. So this is how it will look like so we have a crying girl here and she doesn't want you to go and she's asking don't go yet why are you leaving us i want you to stay with us so much that i'm ready to give you a special offer and we give person a discount isn't it nice so that's one way you can do it and that's the one way you can work with your bouncing users so here we have a link which would lead them to the special offer. Uh, how have I set up a, a model window like this? Well, <clears throat> I just inserted an image, inserted the content, styled it a little bit. Um, you can take a look here. Then um, I selected the width. And what's important here is the placing um, because I made the top position minus 1%. Why minus 1 and not 0? Because I have a border radio, radius of 10, so I don't want to be the top part rounded. So the rounded part is hidden by going minus 1%. I keep the left and right position to zero because this is what actually centers um, the model window. I did disable the overlay so it's not intrusive. And I enable closing on escape. What's interesting here also is the positioning of the close button and how I did it. I made the top position basically almost the height of the model window itself so that it goes down and the right position is ha almost half of the um, model window, right? So that's how I centered it. And here we select when the user tries to leave the page. I've put no animation and zero duration uh, a zero delay so that it appears instantly and user user notices it and then uh, for the placement I, I used pages with certain IDs and actually now we need to check if it's the correct ID so 3820 and here we go 3820 so update uh, let me get rid of this stuff from the page so it doesn't confuse you. And let's publish. And let's take a look. So let's say someone goes to your website and then he immediately tries to leave and um, the window appears right here. It appears only once. Something is wrong with the, my internet a little bit because of the broadcasting. But here's how it works. 
And actually, these kind of exit intent pop-ups have proven um, to retain users to a certain percentage. So why not go ahead and use them? All right, that's it for this case.